So here's a question that I have for you. Do you find that most of your students are just sitting and passively listening during your read aloud time? Well, we all know that keeping our students engaged and focused while reading a story aloud can sometimes be challenging. So we need an alternative strategy, one that will allow all of our students to participate and learn during story time, whether they're physically with us in the classroom or virtually online. Hi teachers, I'm Stacy with Lakeshore Learning. And as a former kindergarten teacher, I often used interactive read-alouds as a whole group teaching strategy so that I could involve all of my students in the storytelling process. So I'd like to share a few tips or tricks for you in order to help your planning of an interactive read-aloud to make it purposeful and meaningful for both you and your students. So where do you begin? Well, when planning for an interactive read aloud, the first thing you need to do is select a book. The purpose of pre-selecting a book is because you need to determine where you're gonna be stopping your instruction for student interaction and where you'll be providing your teaching points. Now that you've selected the story you want to read, it's time to put notes in place or mark your book in a way to remind yourself where you'll be stopping for those teaching points, such as introducing new vocabulary words, opportunities for your children to get up and move, or maybe just a time to stop and pause for a class discussion or time for students to think, pair, and share. When you're finished, you're now ready to read and enjoy. During the reading, be sure to model good reading behaviors and read with expression. And don't forget to pay attention to your notes and stop to introduce new vocabulary words to the children. Allow them time to think and see if they can figure out what the word means. Brandy is cooperative. Put your hand on your head if you think you know what the word cooperative means. Nellie, what do you think the word cooperative means? I think the word cooperative means like to wait your turn. Okay, and Lucas, you have your hand on your head. What do you think cooperative means? I think cooperative means sharing. Means sharing. Well, let's find out. Brandy is cooperative, a very big word. It means sharing with friends and waiting your turn. Also, be sure to ask good open-ended questions throughout the story and incorporate strategies to encourage children to make connections with the text. When Brandy sees kids who just can't agree, who fight over toys and cry, me, me, me. Again, put your hand on your head if you know what the children are trying to communicate when they're saying me, me, me. What are they trying to say, Lucas? They're trying to say it's mine. That it's theirs, right? How about you, Nellie? What do you think? They're trying to say that the, um, they want it, but the other one wants it too. Those are excellent answers, both of those. She races to the rescue to help them share. Let's take turns. That's the way that is fair. When you finished reading, have a conversation about the overall meaning of the text. Ask the children, did anything surprise you? What did you learn? What questions do you still have? Can you think of a different ending for the story? You can even try asking your students how this story might connect to other stories that we've read in the past. So what do you think? Would your students' learning benefit from doing an interactive read aloud? The next time that your lesson plans call for a read aloud, why not try an interactive read aloud? It's a great opportunity for whole group instruction where all your students are actively engaged and participating, whether they're learning in person or virtually online. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning channel where you'll find more tips and tricks for teachers. And before we go, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your time and your patience, and thank you for being such an amazing teacher. Bye-bye. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos, plus visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.